A nacelle is a housing, separate from the fuselage, that holds engines, fuel, or equipment on an aircraft. In some cases—for instance in the typical, Farman type, pusher, aircraft, or the World War II era P-38 Lightning. An aircraft's cockpit may also be housed in a nacelle, which essentially fills the function of a conventional fuselage. The covering is typically aerodynamically shaped. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Like many aviation terms, the word comes from French, in this case from a word for a small boat. <laughs> <laughs> development The Nazi developed a Rado R-234 was one of the first operational jet aircraft to feature engines mounted in nacellas. This is known as a potted engine. During its development, the four jet engines were merged from having four distinct nacellas, all of which contained their own landing gear wheel, to two nacellas with two engines each. In recent years, General Electric and NASA have developed nacellas with chevron-shaped trailing edges to reduce the engine noise of commercial aircraft, using an experimental Boeing 777 as a test platform. Boeing then developed this nacelle shape for use with their 787 Dreamliner. Topic: Applications. For the most part, multi-engined aircraft will use nacellas for housing the engines, called a potted engine. There are exceptions to this however, twin-engine supersonic fighter jets such as the Eurofighter Typhoon typically have the engines mounted within the fuselage. Also, some engine housings are integrated into the aircraft's wings, such as those of the de Havilland Comet and flying wing-type aircraft. Engines may be mounted in individual nacellas, or in the case of larger aircraft such as the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress pictured right may have two engines mounted in a single nacelle. Nacellas can be made fully or partially detachable for holding expendable resources such as fuel and armaments. Nacellas may be used to house equipment that is too large to fit into the fuselage, for example the redome on the Boeing E-3 Sentry. Other uses Edward Turner used the term to describe his styling device introduced in 1949 to tidy the area around the headlamp and instrument panel of his Triumph Speed Twin, Thunderbird and Tiger 100 motorcycles. This styling device was much copied within the British industry thereafter, although Czech motorcycle manufacturer Česka Z. Brojovka Strakonis was using it beforehand. Indeed, the Royal Enfield Bullet still retains its version, the casket, on its current models. The last Triumphs to sport nacellas were the 1966 models of the 6T Triumph Thunderbird 650, 5TA Triumph Speed Twin 500, and 3TA Triumph 21 350. The generator and gearbox shell with rotator shaft, on a horizontal axis wind turbine hot. Spacecraft in the Star Trek franchise usually feature warp drive nacellas. Topic. Design considerations The primary design issue with any aircraft mounted nacelle is aerodynamics. Nacellas attached to monoplane wings are almost always mounted underneath, as this is the «high pressure» side of an aircraft wing. This means that the airflow is slower and thus less sensitive to obstructions than the upper «low pressure» side. To keep form drag as low as possible, nacellas are usually mounted on slender pylons. This can cause issues with routing the necessary conduits required for the equipment mounted within the nacelle to connect to the aircraft through such a narrow space. 
This is especially a concern with Nacella's housing engines, as the fuel lines and control lines for multiple engine functions must all go through the pylon. It is often necessary for nacellas to be asymmetrical, but aircraft designers try to keep asymmetrical elements to a minimum to reduce operator maintenance costs associated with having two sets of parts for either side of the aircraft. Nacellas are often mounted facing slightly downwards of the horizontal plane to compensate for the aircraft's cruising angle of attack. <laughs> 